high-speed Soviet fighter. Flagon, the Su-11, all-weather, long-range, advanced fire control system, deadly air-to-air -air capability. Fishbed, the MiG-21, the latest Soviet fighter exported to satellite countries. Maneuverability, comparable to the top U.S. Navy fighter. Foxbat, the MiG-23, another new high-performance Soviet fighter. Higher top speed, higher altitude than the fighter in the current Navy inventory. The next identifiable fighter threat. Added to this threat, there is the Blinder and Badger. Soviet bombers capable of launching any of four different missiles at standoff ranges up to 150 miles. In addition, there is the ever-present threat from surface to surface or surface to air missiles from either shore stations or missile carrying Soviet ships. The basic problem is that our stable of Navy fighters to meet these threats is rapidly losing its edge. Our F-8 Crusader was started in late 1952, over 15 years ago. It became operational 11 years ago. Our F-4 was a clearly superior fighter when it became operational in 1961. Now the gap is closing. It is a tribute to the skill of the nation's fighter pilots that a high kill ratio has been maintained in Vietnam. We cannot depend on maintaining this margin indefinitely. The time has come to equal the skill of our fighter pilots with a far superior fighter aircraft, one that will be superior now and for the next 15 years. The new Navy fighter, the F-14, is an air superiority weapon system designed around a combat weapons load of four sparrows, but with configuration flexibility that include Phoenix and Sidewinder missiles, coupled with an M61 gun. It is built to meet the enemy in the air anywhere, and the threat to the attack carrier striking force during the mid-1970s to 1980s 